A Confirmation of Unity Believing in the true nature of existence has value. It can inspire us to undertake the means for realizing that truth. This is why it is beneficial to study, at least until we see the truth manifesting directly within ourselves. Then we will know its attributes by our own experience, as seen from within our witness, which is beyond all experience. On the other hand, if we have never studied a high philosophical ideal representing the true nature of existence, if we begin a simple and effective practice like deep meditation for any reason at all, for health, for happiness, for more success in life, the result will be the same. Ultimately, our spiritual realization is not about what we believe. It is about what we become. And that is about the gradual purification and opening of our inner neurobiology. This is human spiritual transformation. Having said that, we also know that the mind will come along. As the grip of the habit of identification with our thoughts, feelings, and perceptions is loosened, so too will the external expression of these aspects of our nature become more peaceful and radiant. Then we are able to inquire about the true nature of our life and all of existence without a lot of mental struggles. This condition of peaceful radiance has sometimes been referred to as having a shining quality. Paradoxically, it is this shining radiance, the movement of inner silence outward from within us, that brings us surely into a direct realization of the non-dual nature of existence. This is rarely discussed in considering a pure path of self-inquiry. Why? Because pure Vedantic self-inquiry may mechanically discard the existence of anything outside the void of awareness. Even awareness itself is released, because we cannot know it without a sense of I. And there can be no sense of I if there is nothing that exists to comprehend it. Nevertheless, here we are. If we honor the appearance of our present perceptions, and the fact that we are behind and within these as the silent inner witness, then, in time, we will come to know that the realization of non-duality is the merging of these two. Enlightenment is the merging of energy with awareness. This little discussed later stage, where stillness becomes radiant and active, results in all of our activities and experiences being penetrated, illuminated, by moving stillness, shining as it were. And we become very attracted to residing in that, for we know instinctively that it is ourself. This is the true realization of non-duality, which is a unification rather than a separation of undifferentiated consciousness from the rest of life. Even as we reside in stillness, we will be active, and the qualities of the divine will be expressing in that way. This is a confirmation of unity, and it will be seen by us and by everyone who is around us. Unity is the outpouring of divine love in everyday activity. It is not the appearance of it, behaving in a particular way, but the internal fact of it, which cannot be mimicked for long. No matter what anyone has ever said about enlightenment, what it is or what it is not, we can only know it in experience as an expression of our own inner silence, which to us will not seem like an expression at all. It is an abiding, because we are forever at one with absolute stillness. And in this abiding, we are far more dynamic than we ever were before we came to rest in our own self. It has been said that final enlightenment requires a confirmation on the level of the mind. Perhaps it is so. In the end, that is why we have self-inquiry, so the mind may release and allow what already is, allow us to be what we always have been, eternal divine love. After the neurobiological transformation and the emergence of outpouring divine love, 
it will be the intellect which finally reaches the point of saying, Ah! and release. Then we will be beyond relying on external philosophies or teachings. We will be describing unity in our own words. By applying all available means in a balanced way, and by inquiring, we come to know the truth of the witness within, and the confirmation of unity will not be far behind. We will find mind and the world dancing with joy on the surface of our infinite ocean of being. We are that.